Welcome back to Magic Terror Cars. It's Jasmine. Today I have a reaction on the Montgomery, Alabama brow, brow fight that went on, y'all. That was epic. I want to give a shout out to all my brothers and sisters that participated in that fight and that stood up for themselves, that stood up for the black man, the co-captain that was getting beat up by these white folks. I don't condone violence ever, but enough is enough and these people decided to fight back and it's about time all right so everything that i say comes from spirit everything i say comes from spirit all the information comes from spirit i have pre-shuffled because i had to shuffle a whole lot and talk with spirit before i did this video if you don't like any of my content or anything that i say here you can be gone all right, because I'm here to tell the truth. I'm here. I'm going to tell you what spirit has to say. This comes from above, not from me. But I am proud of my people. All right. Whoa. <laughs> so this video is not made for kids. If you're under the age of 18, please click off now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You cannot copy any of my material for your revenue. Let's get that straight right now. This channel is branded. You're not even with a disclaimer. You can copy it, all right? Let's get that straight right now because I will get you off the internet in two seconds if you try, all right? If you want a personal reading, contact me with the email down below. I'm also having a $10 special, $10 for three cards going right now. So if you already have my cell phone, text me. If not, then email me. The email will be down below. Don't forget to um, uh, watch me on TikTok if you want to watch funny little skits. Here is my cup. This cup does have an influence on it, and yes, I'll be able to do that. There's no spell that I can't do, all right? But I don't do bad spells. This one is to help you with luck, money, and love. Good luck and luck, money, and love. All you're doing is manifesting with this cup. The link is down below, and you can uh, click on the link and buy the cup. I've had many, many success stories about this cup, all right? Even my brother bought it because he was really, really sick, and he brought the bought the cup, and he started using it, and he got better right away. He got good news from the doctor right away. All right, so let's get started. I shuffled. Now, I asked Spirit. The Spirit is taking me through this through this fight, okay? But he's also giving me the feelings of everyone there and what's going to happen, what's coming. Y'all, a new day is coming. A new dawn has opened. A new day has been born. Things are about to change drastically for the way black people are treated, for, or anybody that's treated bad for that matter. Things are about to change, okay? Because you can only be oppressed for so long until you clap back, all right? So let's get started with that. First, we have the tower. I'm sorry, y'all. I put this in the reverse, but it's, it actually fell on the upright. This is an unexpected event. This is something that... Okay, sorry, my phone was about to die. I had to plug it back up. So, this is an unexpected event. The tower, you see the lightning bolt strikes the tower, and people are falling where they're falling to their death. Okay, because this does... This is not a death card, but it does represent that as well, depending on the position that this falls on. Y'all, I've been a tarot card reader for 30 plus years. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing. Now, compared to the, all these other little tarot card readers that say that they are, okay, I'm the real deal here. So these people thought that they could just uh, take advantage, do what they wanted. Here they are, using right by the water as well. You see how turbulent the water is? Water is very turbulent. They thought that they could use their power of aggression. That's what this card means, power of aggression to get what they want, to get away with what they want. See how he's smirking, laughing, because he beat these people up, took their swords, deep thought, a lot of deep thought here, a lot of aggression here. So this is what they... They thought that they were going to do. They they feel superior. They feel like they're entitled. Okay, I don't know where in the world that you would think that about yourselves because you're no better than anybody else. And karma came swiftly. Karma came swiftly and showed you exactly what you did to that black man is what happened to you. And that was pure karma. People can blame the black people for, oh, they're violent. They're just, no, karma did that. Karma came back and got your butt. All right. So here's the fight. Five or more people here waving their wands of scattered energy. That's what this represents, scattered energy. They were fighting, waving their wands, just beating each other up or beating that man up. Thought that they were going to just really get away with this. All right. 
So once the boat docked, the people, the, the workers, they were wearing blue shirts. Some of them took their shirts off. They clapped back. Oh, yeah. Did you really think that you're going to beat someone up and no one was going to do nothing? Y'all little people got back on your little platoon, platoon, whatever that boat's called. Oh, I'm just going to sail away now that I beat up a black man. No, that, that did not happen. This is the black people. They represent, they have a heavy burden on them. This is how they feel. They have a heavy burden on them. This has been a lifetime, a lifetime. Nobody deserves this kind of burden. Nobody deserves um, to go through life with this type of burden. But this is how they feel. They, they have a heavy, heavy burden. But on that day, they decided that enough was enough. Here they are with their back turned. In the upright, this is someone that's got their back turned out a crossroads. Don't know what to do. Should I do this? Should I do that? In the back, the water's turbulent. Lots of turbulence deep in their mind. But it fell in the reverse. Why? Because they decided no more. They made a decision. They didn't care about the consequences. They made a decision that enough is enough. They're not going to be depressed, sad in their beds anymore, in jail, because a lot of them felt, you know, when they're being oppressed, felt like they're in mental anguish. This represents in jail or mental anguish, depression, not anymore. It's done. It's over. They decided that they weren't going to put up with this any more. And actually, I'm very proud of them. I'm very proud of them for fighting back and defending themselves. Like I said, I don't condone violence. I'm the first one to run away from a fight. But, but, if I have to defend myself, I will. And I felt like they had to defend themselves, and they did. Here they come, swiftly, running, the, the horses flying through the air. This is an urgent message, running swiftly. Throwing the, the sword up in the air, just like the man threw his hat up in the air. You know what that meant? When he threw his hat up in the air, that was, all right, it is on. That's what it meant. It's on. Because you hit me, now it's on. So he threw up his hat singling, it's on. This is, this is going to be a fight. And that's going to go down in history, y'all. This is going to go down in history. You're going to see many, many videos about this, which there already is. But this is going to be something that's going to go on for a lifetime. This has given the black people power to defend themselves, to no longer be oppressed, and to know that it's okay to defend themselves. A lot of them kind of think that, okay, maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe I shouldn't do that because the police is going to talk to me first. They're going to accuse me first. But you know what? Not today. Not anymore. A new dawn is here, y'all. I'm telling you, new dawn is here. You're going to see a lot more retaliation when something goes wrong. They're not going to stand back anymore. And this has been going on for a while. Yeah, there's a lot of riots and stuff like that. But they they um, know. I'm going to say we. I'm not going to say they. I'm going to say we because I'm part of them. We know that you no longer have to feel oppressed. No longer have to stand back. You, we are going to defend ourselves, all right? So here comes a horse flying to the air with a message. Pay attention to your surrounding events because here we come. And that's exactly what they did. That's exactly what they did. This is their trip on the boat. Came in. They came in, they parked, and it was successful. This is what this means when you go on a trip and you arrive successfully. So they arrived successfully. Here's the wheel of fortune. Luck was on their side. Luck was on their side. Not only luck was on their side, but spirit was on their side. All right. The ancestors were on their side. Every ancestor that's been oppressed, every, every black person that's been hung, Every person that was a slave was there on that day. There was so much spirit energy there that day, fighting right along with them. Luck was on their side. They have the wheel of fortune. And here we have the Harriet, the mighty judge, the mighty judge saying no more. It's it. They won the battle. They're going to uh, get justice. We have two justice cards here. Look at that. Two justice cards here. They're both fair judges. They're both passionate about this situation. Now, this is the mayor. I'm seeing that this is the mayor, and then this is the police here. But this is the mayor saying, you know what? It's done. It's over. We're not going to have this anymore. All right? We're not going to have this anymore. And then here we have justice. The scales are balanced here. So that means they're going to get fair justice for all that was concerned. Uh, again, another sword up representing power. 
When you see in the cars that someone has their sword up or holding their hands up like this, the power stick up, I call that a power stick. That represents power. They have a lot of power. All right. Look at the feet. There's one sticking out. There's two firmly planted on the ground. These people have power and they're very well centered. They know exactly what they're doing. Red represents passion. They're very passionate about their job, very passionate about their decisions. Here we have yellow in the background representing their decision is going to bring a brand new day. This is what I'm telling you. A new dawn is coming. And you don't, that's coming. No more of this, oh, uh, this black man got beat up oh, over here today. The police didn't do nothing. Oh, this black woman got killed today and the police didn't do nothing. That's over. That's over. A new dawn is coming and it's about time. It's about time. All right. Uh, I, I watched this video a hundred times and I zoomed in on every person that was hitting, beating, and <laughs> it was the funniest fight I've ever seen. The man with the chair. <laughs> oh, my God. It was a black man that invented the chair, by the way, for this very reason. A black man in invented the folding chair years ago for this very reason today. Here we go. You don't like what I'm saying? You don't have to watch this video. <laughs> but the way he was whomping people on the head, <laughs> he got arrested. I, I heard he turned himself in. But guess what? It's a misdemeanor, and he's going to get right back out. That chair is going to be famous. You're going to see it all over the place. You're going to see people selling little chairs, wearing them as necklaces and stuff like that. So what's the final outcome of this situation? End of a karmic cycle. What's the karmic cycle? We being oppressed. We being killed for no reason. The police don't do nothing. End of a karmic cycle, because all that's about to change in this upcoming year. No more. No more. It's over. It's over. Think twice about beating up a black person. Think twice. I'm telling you right now. Think twice. Because this fight gave everybody else courage to move forward with what should really be done, and that's defending themselves. So think twice before you want to oppress a, a black person or any person for that matter. It doesn't have to be black. It could be any other race. Be Think twice twice think twice here we have the magician all right so they are manifesting they can manifest anything that they want to as long as they keep together put their heads together and they will win they bring it in a brand new day a brand new dawn that's what that represents no more of the past no more of getting killed or getting beat up or and then no one does nothing about it that's over it's over i'm telling you right now this is what spirit is saying if you don't like this video, then you don't have to watch. But this is the truth. And you know it's the truth. Some of you that are watching, you know it's the truth. You know what's happening. I'm bringing, a, I'm making a video today of uh, predictions for 2024. This is in it. This energy is in it. Because I've been counseling with spirit. And you're going to be shocked at what you're going to see. So stay tuned for that. Because there's a whole lot of things coming that you did not expect from people. And other things that are coming to this earth that you did not expect. So that's com that's the next video after this. So stay tuned. I'm going to end it here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want a personal reading, contact me with the information down below. A new dawn has arrived.